Hey, hi. So in this video, we're going to be installing and playing around with the Cube Prometheus stack. So it's not just Prometheus, it's a Prometheus stack. So that means it will also install Grafana, Alert Manager, together with the Prometheus components like node exporters, push gateways, and so on and so forth. And we'll be using Helm to install that stack. Just a bit of an overview of what the Prometheus stack will install is number one, we've got the Prometheus servers or the Prometheus app. So what the Prometheus app is in layman's term is that it stores the metrics in an EBS volume or in a persistent volume. And then it stores the metrics in a time series database. And then it provides an HTTP endpoint where other applications can query that time series database. Next is the alert manager. And what the alert manager is, it's just an application that sends notification or alerts to the receivers. And for the receivers, it depends on what you set up. So it can be a Slack channel, it can be Teams, or it can be an email, it can be even mobile. And then we've got Grafana. And what Grafana is, it's a visualization tool and it works perfectly with Prometheus. So it can seamlessly access the data in Prometheus. And with Grafana, it also provides beautiful dashboards or you can create your own. Number four, the persistent metric storage. So what is this? This is the storage that Prometheus uses to store the metrics. It gathers from the nodes or from the pods or the containers. And in this exercise, we'll be using an EBS volume. And in a more advanced setup for Prometheus, they use the push gateway. So for push gateways, let's say you have a batch server or batch process, and when it finishes, it will automatically send a push notification to the push gateway to notify that the job is successful or the job has failed. All right, so that's now out of the way. Let's proceed and create those Prometheus components. Okay. Let's see what we have currently. We've got an EKS cluster in North Virginia called Random App version 1.30. And we've got two nodes for that EKS cluster. And it is T3 medium. Then we've got a KMS key EKS Random App as the alias. And all of these components are created by this repo, which can be found in my previous video, how to create an EKS cluster. And before we proceed on creating Prometheus components, we need to install the EKS add-on EBS CSI, and also create a new storage class for GP3. Now these new components are required for Prometheus because Prometheus will create a persistent volume and we are handing that over to EBS CSI on behalf of the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, let's proceed. I'm gonna create a new header and call this one. Now, before we create the EBS CSI add-on, we first need to create an IRSA role. So what is an IRSA role? It's IAM role for service account. And this is the Terraform code to create that IRSA role. It's going to create an IAM role that's tied up to a service account inside the EKS cluster. Next is we're gonna create a data source. Now this data source is just to get the Kubernetes version for the EBS CSI driver. Then lastly, we're gonna create the EKS add-on for the EBS CSI. So we're gonna pass in the cluster name, the add-on name, the version, which is from this data source, then the service account role, and lastly, the tags. And that's it for the EBS CSI. Next is we're going to create the storage class. Next is we're going to create the GP3 storage class. So let's just create a header for it, storage class. And usually people create this via uh, Kubernetes YAML files. But since this is just an exercise, let's just created via Terraform. You need to pass in the KMS key ID. Uh, let's go back to the console, copy this out and paste it there. So what this does is it just creates a new storage class 
with GP3 default as a name and the provisioner would be the EBS CSI. And save that. And then let's go to terminal. I'm gonna go to Terraform folder. Oh, before that, let me just close this up. So for the cube cuttle manifest resource, it needs the cube cuttle provider. So we need to add the cube cuttle provider in the required provider section. Let me just okay, that's done. It looks good. Let's do a quick review. So we've got cube cuttle in there. This will create the IRSA role. And this will create the AWS EKS add-on um, service account role. This should be this one. Let me just update the resource name real quick. Okay. And then this is for the storage class. All right. So let's go open the terminal. Let's go to Terraform folder and do a Terraform init. All right. That's done. Let's do a Terraform plan. Okay, so it'll create five new resource and let's do a Terraform apply, auto approve. All right, resources are created. Now let's proceed with installing the Prometheus stack. So in the next part, I am going to use terminal instead of Visual Studio Code so that we can see better. Since there's no code change involved, we're just gonna use the default values for the Prometheus stack. So I'm just gonna use the terminal. First, let's check the chart repositories that's currently installed in our terminal. And that can be accessed through Helm repo list. So there's no repositories to show. Okay, let's set up the Prometheus community Helm chart. We're going to be using cube Prometheus stack. And the first one should be it. That's it. And this is how we set up the Helm repo. Let's go back to the terminal. Okay, and let's do a Helm repo list again. Great, now Helm knows which repo to look for when we're trying to install the Prometheus stack. And as for best practice, let's do Helm repo update. And now we can install the Prometheus stack. But first, let's check what we have. Cube got to get pod, so there's no, there's nothing in, so there's nothing in default. Let's check the namespace. So basically this is an empty EKS cluster. And what we wanna do first is we wanna create a namespace called monitoring. And then we'll put the Prometheus resources in the monitoring namespace. Okay, so now we're ready to install the cube Prometheus stack. So we can do that using Helm install. The install name would be Prometheus. And then this is the repo. And then we're gonna do cube Prometheus stack. And we're gonna be installing this in the monitoring namespace. All right, done. So that took a bit of time, maybe around five minutes. Let's check the pods in the monitoring namespace. Okay, we've got alert manager, we've got Grafana, we've got the Prometheus app, we've got the node exporters in here because we only have two nodes, so there's two node exporters. It looks good. Let's check the services. You've got Prometheus, you've got Grafana, you've got the alert manager in here. Perfect. Now let's go and get the username and password for Grafana. Keep Goto, get secrets, monitoring. Okay, and we need the Prometheus Grafana secret over here. Let's, let me clear this up. So we need the secret Prometheus Grafana. Okay, get secret, Prometheus Grafana in the monitoring namespace. Let's just double check, yep. And let's open it up and I want the username. So data.admin user. So that's admin. And then let's get the password. I'm just gonna edit this. And the password is prom operator. All right, I just copy that one. 
All right, let's go and check the services again for the net for the monitoring namespace. Awesome. And then we're gonna go and do a kubectl port forward on the service Prometheus Grafana. And let's put port 3000. And then we're gonna map it to port 80. And then this will be in the monitoring namespace. Let's go back to our browser. And then let's do localhost 3000 and see voila so grafana is working and this will be admin and the password is prom operator oh sweet look at that and let's just go to the dashboards so for grafana it has predefined dashboards already so for example i want to check the node metrics node exporter and then we've got the metrics over here and then you can check the instances in this drop down menu here that's awesome so that's grafana and now let's go back to the terminal and let's check for the prometheus ui and that will be this one here and let's map it to 1990 okay let's just do 1990 Okay, let's try that. Oops, sorry, that's incomplete. It should be this bit here. Uh, let's remove that and place that there. Okay, let's go back here and let's do localhost 1990. That's Prometheus. Here you can query the time series database. Let's say I wanna check CPU usage total and then I want to select the container alert manager and then I can graph it here so you can play around with this one so that's Prometheus UI and then lastly let's go and check the alert manager and for alert manager alert manager is this bit here and then we are port forwarding 1993 in the namespace monitoring Okay, let's go here, localhost 1993. And that's Alert Manager, there you go. In the Alert Manager UI, you can see the current alert that's firing. You can also see the silences. You can create a new silence. So for example, we've got an alert. This, this one's called Watchdog. You wanna silence this alert. You can just create a silence. You wanna silence it for two hours or you can, silen you can even silence it for an entire week. So that depends on your use case. So that's Alert Manager. Cool, I hope you learned something new. So in this exercise, we were able to create the Cube Prometheus stack. That means installing Prometheus, Grafana, Alert Manager, and the time series database, we were able to store it in EBS volumes. And for the push gateway, that's for a later topic down the line. Thank you and see you next time.